When I was a child, the thing that gave me the most intranquility was thinking that I will die without doing nothing, without transcendence. That was my big fear. My name is Julian Rios and I am revolutionizing breast cancer detection through a device called EVA, which is a non-invasive and portable breast cancer detection using artificial intelligence and biosensors. The question there is if my mom that has high acquisitive power, who has um, private insurance, uh, has to deal with not stage 1 breast cancer but stage 3 due to a misdiagnosis and due to mistreatment of doctors, what is the case for the rest of the Mexican population that lives, 62% lives in poverty? The result wouldn't be low life quality but debt. Humans are fallible, humans are easily biased. And even the, the current investigation says that self-examination method has no value. It gives a false sense of tranquility to women. But in rural communities, in third world countries, such as Mexico and most parts of Latin America, we can't get mammograms to rural communities. We can't because they're too expensive, we don't have doctors. The problem is a problem of time, not a problem of, of how invasive this is. Women in, in third world countries, for example, between the diagnosis or between the self-diagnosis and having the right medical attention, a gap of eight months, which is dead, literally. And for me, it was clear that more than the fallibility of the methods, it was one of the doctors, the medical professionals, were the ones analyzing what the mammogram gave them. So I started to realize that if we wanted to make a better method, the doctor was to be thrown out of the equation. So it needed to be an algorithm, it needed to be software, it needed to be a mathematical model that was the one giving the diagnosis. Artificial intelligence is software and mathematics combined to create these predictive tools that help humans to take decisions and these tools uh, can correct themselves, can understand what's going on, can be autosufficient, and uh, they're less valuable and more objective than humans. Okay. No se ve español. Thermal image for me was the most interesting method because it was completely non-invasive. A biosensor or a patch of sensors that go directly over the breast analyzes how temperature changes and give that to an algorithm. presentarles a Eva, the auto exploration wearable. Aquí es donde comienza la intersección entre medicina y tecnología y el uso de la inteligencia artificial. A mano izquierda, Rebeca tiene el Apple Watch que nos va a ser útil en unos segundos. Una vez que podamos colocar el demo, sin problemas, para que ha soleado durante las últimas ocho horas, que no haya erosiones ni maquillajes, o se haya afeitado, en la última hora, tomado analgésicos.
yo tengo que hacerme esto de manera anual, eh, pues me da bastante tranquilidad que exista algo que sea muy práctico con el que te lo puedas hacer. Todavía no tengo la edad que se supone que a partir de los 40 años te empiezan a hacer las mastografías. Este, pues nunca, a pesar de, de que tengo los fibroadenomas, nunca me han hecho una mastografía. Entonces, eh, pues para gente que todavía no llega a ese rango de, de edad, se me hace increíble. Esa creo que es la principal ventaja. Dando el seguimiento, creo que, que puedo estar tranquila y al contrario, ¿no? Como que eso me va a ayudar en caso de que algo malo ocurra o que se pueda desencadenar en algo maligno, pues estar monitoreada y detectarlo a tiempo, que pues al final es lo más importante. Y con estas tecnologías que pueden ser de muy fácil uso y muy accesibles, creo que es algo increíble. I think that people that have changed the world in the last 100 years, in the last 80 years, uh, has been standing in the intersection between science and technology in one hand, and design and arts and industrial design and liberal arts in the other. That is the great combination. Our innovation is realizing all these, te these technologies that surround us, and how we can combine it together to fight one specific cause. Mexico's President Enrique Peña Nieto invited Julian to receive the Young Global Entrepreneur Prize. Julian and his team are now turning their attention to finding more reliable methods to detect testicular and pancreatic cancer. We'd love to have your input, so if you know someone who is helping change the world, drop us a line at an at cgtnamerica.com or tweet us at cgtnamerica and tell us about a game changer you would like to see on the show.